Welcome back friends. In the previous video we have talked about uh, the blood pressure and what is blood pressure and what are the different types of blood pressure like systolic pressure, diastolic pressure and the pulse pressure. <coughs> we have also talked about the mean arterial pressure. Now in this video I am going to talk about how to measure blood pressure actually. It's kind of practical but uh, I am going to tell you the theory behind the practical approach to measure the blood pressure. Now actually Blood pressure means the bl when the blood is flowing, the pressure it applies to the blood vessel. So in this case, how to measure this? The way to measure that, because we know that blood pressure arises due to two events. One event is the contraction of ventricle. And another event is the relaxation of the ventricle. So majorly, <coughs> when the blood, the, the ventricle is contracted, it is pumping a lot of blood through the arteries, through different regions of the body. And it first creates a higher pressure onto the wall of blood vessels and creates the systolic pressure and then it become relaxed and when it become relaxed then the blood pressure falls down that is called the diastolic pressure so systolic and diastolic <coughs> now in systolic what we know <coughs> normally so to measure that we take the arm any region So any region of our body, let's say, let's say here, any region of our body, if we take the arm, for example, <coughs> now what we do here, we just create pressure or any one of these arteries that is coming in. So let's say this is the artery and you just block this artery with high pressure. <clears throat> so you're blocking it with a cuff here. Block it with high pressure. And this pressure is even higher. <coughs> this pressure is even higher than the systolic pressure. This is even higher than the systolic pressure. So eventually what we're doing here by pressing this artery so hard we are actually blocking any amount of blood flow through this artery in this particular region so we are ensuring that the blood usually flows from this to this direction but now by blocking it here we are ensuring that from this particular point there will be no blood flowing in this particular direction so it will be blocked then <coughs> we slowly release the pressure and when you start to release the pressure, you start to feel the blood is coming. And when the blood is coming, the blood is hitting onto the wall because previously now we know that in this particular blood vessel wall there is no blood pressure. So no blood pressure. But now we are releasing the blood and blood is continuously hitting onto the wall of the blood vessel. And when it is hitting, we are finding some sound. So we, we start to find the sound from a particular pressure point. So if you measure the pressure using a pressure gauge here, it could be a mercury <coughs> layer or a mercury chamber or it could be any uh, meter like that. Whatever, we can find it. It's like a watch. And it actually, we, we are going to see that when the pressure starts to fall, approximately at 120 to 130, this is the range of MMAG. You're going to find the first sound. When, when the sound begins, that means the blood pressure, blood is started to flow. It is hitting onto the wall of this blood vessel. So this is going to be the systolic pressure. So usually it is 120 mmAg. And then we continuously releasing the blood. Blood is releasing, releasing and the pressure, we, we heard the sound strongly then it is getting faded. It is fading. So start with huge sounds, now it is fading because now it is becoming kind of smooth flow because at the very beginning the flow is kind of uh, uh, hamper because uh, it's kind of haphazard flow because the blood is previously blocked now it is just forced to move so it is creating a lot of pressure 120 mmHg approximately then it becomes smoother because the flowing is smoother now we get a relaxation of that and what we get we, we start to find that sound but now the sound is fading and after a particular time or after a particular time when the, when this <coughs> 
it reaches some particular region that particular sound is vanishes so when when that sound vanishes we call it a diastolic pressure it usually a tmmag found to be in case of human being but it varies and it, it, this kind of blood pressure everything it depends on many factors because it's a multifactorial thing depends on age depends on sex and depends on the different time duration your physical work physical condition and all these different thing but that's how you usually measure the pressure here okay so first blocking the blood flow then releasing the blood flow hitting the first sound then the sound is vanishing and we measured that first sound is systolic and when the sound is vanished that's diastolic so it's kind of this so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful thank you